Hello, so today what I want to do is I want to introduce a couple of cool sensors. One would be the flex sensor here, which measures the change in the flex of this device. And the other is the force sensor, which will be able to measure variable amounts of pressure applied onto the, 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 the surface here. And I've got them both hooked up. One, the, the force sensor hooked up to this uh, TNC uh, 3.2 on a patent robotics motherboard and I have the flex sensor hooked up to this UNO. Both of them I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, external voltage divider boards. Uh, I like the fact that it has a 10K instead of the probable uh, 20 to 30K that you would use of a pull-up. Gives you a nice dynamic range. And as an educator, I like to be able to point out that this is in fact a 10K and I can demonstrate the voltage divider uh, mathematics and explain how it actually functions, which is kind of nice to have external. I have on this UNO, what I've done here is I've taken the positive 5 volts in the ground and I've moved it over to the spreadboard here. So it's going to be on the blue strip is going to be ground. On the red one it's going to be the positive. I have these two wires here which are hooked up to my voltage divider board so I'm getting power on ground and the yellow wire goes strict straight to pin A0 for the analog read. And the first thing we have to do to play with these guys is somehow characterize them, you know, how they actually behave. We need to know the minimum and maximum that we'll be working with. The easiest way to do that is simply to go to uh, this built-in piece of code. We'll go to examples, we'll go to basics, and we'll go to analog read serial. And if I load that up. Let me get rid of this piece of code here. If I oh, actually, before I load it, I do. I hate this one millisecond. It's so fast, you just can't really play with it. You can't see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and load this, and I'll pause it while it's loading, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, it's done loading. So let's go ahead and open up the serial window here, and see what kind of values we get. All right, so if I bend this guy. You can see the minimum is about maybe, I don't know, 510. I'll go as low as 500. My maximum will go 800. Okay, so between 5 and 800 appears to be the range that this guy works at. So let's just remember that and we'll put it to some sort of practical use. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a small servo motor, okay, like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it hooked up so that as I bend the flex sensor, we'll be able to move the servo into any one of the positions. Now to do that, again, what I've done is I've added some additional wiring here. You can see that it, once again I have this 5 volt going here alright so the outer strip is the positive 5 and the inner one is ground and you can see these two jumpers here that I've jumped across so that makes this pin which is sitting here is going to be ground this one here uh, the middle one is going to be positive and then I'm running this yellow wire over here to pin 9 okay so if I plug this servo in yeah, like so. All right, I now have it connected to pin nine and it has five volts and ground. So let's just set that right there. And let's open up a piece of code which works really nice for this demonstration. Again, I'm gonna to go to examples and I'm gonna go down here to servo and I'm gonna to go to knob, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the knob in this example with my flexible uh, my flex sensor. So let's go ahead and take a look at this code real quick. Okay, so I'm going to include the servo library. I'm going to create an object called my servo. Um, the pot pin, in this case, we're going to not use a pot, we're going to be using a flex sensor, is going to be on pin zero. Um, we are going to attach that servo to pin nine, which I've already described. And then we're going to go ahead and do an analog read of that pin where the, the flex sensor is hooked up. And this is what I need to change. I think I said it went from a low of about 500 to a maximum of about 800. 
and we're going to move the servo between 0 and 180 degrees and then we're going to write to that uh, servo those values so let's load it up and I'll pause while it's loading okay so it's loaded up everything's working really well and you can see that as I bend this sensor I can then control the position of this servo motor and you could see then if I had for example five of these I could have them attached to each one of my fingers with a glove for example I can then emulate the motion I could reproduce it someplace in a robotic application but they're really simple to use they're real powerful and they're very reliable the only thing you have to be careful is right here and I try to stiffen this up if you get it from me they tend to bend here uh, and they can break so I, I put a piece of heat shrink around here and a little stiffening piece so that way it won't break on you okay so now let's uh, move on to the other device here so let me get it set up I'm gonna close this and we'll say no and let's go ahead and switch over to the teensy 3.2 so we're gonna move over to this device and we're gonna play with this sensor and that particular device is hooked up to COM port 13 okay so I'm still gonna go ahead and do this I have it hooked up to a zero so all that should change it's still going to the voltage divider so let me load this up and I'll pause it and we'll take a look okay so I've completely uh, loaded this up it's ready to go let's open up the serial window here and you can see that if I put my finger and I apply more and more force I can get the value down to I don't know maybe 80 and then if I gently let my finger up it goes up to 1023 so if we do the exact same experiment let's go ahead and open up um, examples we're gonna go down to servo and we're gonna go to knob and we'll go down here and we're gonna go from 80 to 1023 and I'm gonna unplug the servo from here and I'm gonna plug it in to A9 over here okay so let me load this up and I'll pause it and I'll be right back with you okay so it's loaded up <clears throat> let's turn on this side of the circuit board by flipping this switch and that'll energize our circuit for our servo motor and if I put my finger down on it I can apply greater force and I can set that to basically anywhere that I want it to be by just applying greater force with my finger so there you go both of these devices are super easy to use okay um, they change in resistance so you can use a voltage divider board or you can use an internal pull-up and uh, the possibilities are endless when you talk about applying them to a number of different applications so hopefully that was useful and I'll see you again soon